All right, welcome back guys. Welcome back to start of lesson number five. If you wanna follow up with me uh, and code along, you just right click into onto that commit and check out this commit. Happy days, all right. So right now what we have is that we have a list of tasks on the work in progress task and you can actually drag these tasks and we learned how we can use is dragging to affect stuff and how the monitor is actually adding props to our component. So this is working very well, but then the issue is that there's no place to actually drop this. So that is what we will be doing in this lesson. So what I'll do here is I'm going to start by making a file called the box target dot tsx and inside this box target I'm going to make uh, functional component call it box target no problems and then take this and just uh, like I explained before there will be a props object here and this type of the props object will take this type you just take this away and then never mind the return value for now but the one thing I want to talk about here is actually the structure of the use drop uh, hook so very very similar to the structure that we have seen with uh, the use drag hook. So we know that we will have um, um, an array that will have two things. One is going to be the collected props, the object that has the collected props. And we also have drop or whatever you want to call this, which is going to be the ref that you will have to add to uh, whatever DOM element that you actually want to be have to have it be droppable. So this is going to be equal to use drop. Yes, use drop auto import it. Thank you. Use drop, which is going to take an initial an initial um, value. Now the initial value here. Remember we when we used the use drag uh, hook here we had item and this has to specify what kind of item we are actually dragging, right? So on the drop side, what we can have here is something called accept. So accept is going to specify what we can accept, what this drop target can accept. And again, I'm going to be using my source of truth when it comes to all the drag and drop interaction, which is item types. So item types .card. So now I am declaring that this drop target can only accept cards. Good. Now, next up is going to be the collecting function. So it's the same thing. So we will take the monitor and throw that into, see, throw that into, um, throw that into an arrow function that is going to return an object. This object is going to have all the props that we'll be adding. And just to test this and show you that it's actually working, what I will have here is another prop called is over. And this prop is going to be true if monitor dot is over, oopsie, is over is true. So whenever there is an object there is an item that's hovering over that drop target and this target is true, we will have actually, uh, we will add is over there. So uh, our, our uh, component will get is over a prop. So let me add this here and is over will be added. Everything here is good. And just to show this uh, real quick, we will have a box here and this box inside of it, let's just have uh, something like maybe drop here, something like that. And we can also just specify a little bit here. So minimum height, I think so, yeah. Min height equals, let's just say 200 pixels for now. Yes, the reason is we haven't really imported this. So yes, once we import it, it will be good to go. What's the issue? Should occur before the import of, yes, that's all right. So we can drag this up like that no issues whatsoever okay good so we can have this and then we can have also a background color in this case let me go with something really weird just to stand up a little bit so background equal uh, 300 at this point okay so far so good and um, what we can do also is we can actually change the background color based on is over just to show you that the same thing is happening so if is over is true give this guy a background color of red.200 if it's false uh, give it red.500 okay cool so let me save this everything is good so it's just complaining here that this is actually an empty interface let that be for now it doesn't matter and then also we can give this guy a width of 100 percent of its container regardless okay so far so good now i would like to go back to tasks and here 
I will use that box target that we have just made. Okay, if I save that and refresh, automatically refresh over here. Okay, no, not, okay, here we go. So we have drop target over there. What will happen is whenever I drag this over the drop target. Ah, all right, so this is not working, which is quite interesting. And the reason why is because I forgot to use this. The reference so we need to attach that reference excuse me for that we need to attach that reference here to the box once you do that when you drag this over here the color will change if there is an item over if you're dragging an item and this item is over here now I suggest that you actually go ahead and read what happens with the API so this is the use drop API from the react DND site and there is a full explanation of what's going on I'm just showing you this here because there are three things that you can do here. So uh, it just explains what kind of specification object that you can have here and accept, we already talked about that, and options is something else. And then you can also have drop. Drop is going to be a function that will be executed whenever uh, you drop something on it. So right now, if I drop this here, absolutely nothing happens. Let me drop it again, again, nothing happens. So let me just show you what I mean by a function that gets executed. So what we can do here is have an arrow function on drop, and this arrow function will be alert, let's just say, hello. Okay. Oopsie, let me just add this. So it's just gonna go alert, hello. All right, so if I drag this and drop it here, it's gonna be alerting me, hello. What's really interesting here is that this function actually have access to the monitor and the item that's being dragged. To keep that in mind, I can actually just add item here and uh, the monitor, just, just in case, even if you don't wanna use it, sometimes I like to leave it there to make sure that I know what this function has access to. So what I will do here is I'm actually going to console log, console log the item itself. So once I do that, and let me open up the terminal in Firefox this way. Okay, once I do that, then we can see that the item here is simply an object that has type card. And you will see that this is actually coming from the definition here. So this is the object that's being transferred over to the drop target on this side. This is really cool. So if you drag this here, you can see that this is the object that's being transferred here. And just to show you that this is true, I guess we can add like something like test and uh, call it test or something. And now if I drag and drop this, let me try that again. If I drag and drop this, I will get the object type equal card test equal test. So this is really powerful because now you can see there is an information transfer from this side, from the card itself to the, uh, the drop target. And this is exactly what we will be using to actually make sure that we transfer the work in progress task to the done task, but we will be doing that in the next lesson. I'll see you guys there.